At a red traffic light with a green arrow, you may proceed in the direction of the arrow if a. You first come to a complete stop. b. You wait until the light changes. c. You are in the proper lane and the roadway is clear. The amount of alcohol in the blood is referred to as a. Implied consent IC. b. Blood alcohol concentration BAC. c. Rate of alcohol consumption RAC. B. Blood alcohol concentration, BAC. Blood alcohol concentration, BAC, is a measurement of the percentage of alcohol in the blood. The higher the BAC number, the more impaired a person is. With a Class C driver license, a person may drive a. A three-axle vehicle if the gross vehicle weight is less than 6,000 pounds. b. Any three-axle vehicle, regardless of the weight. c. A vehicle pulling two trailers. a. A three-axle vehicle if the gross vehicle weight is less than 6,000 pounds. A person with a Class C license may drive a three-axle vehicle if it weighs 6,000 pounds or less. Safely backing your vehicle requires all of the following, except a. Looking over your right shoulder as you back up. b. Checking your vehicle's surroundings. c. Tapping your horn before you back up. c. Tapping your horn before you back up. Backing up is always dangerous because it is hard to see behind your vehicle. Prior to entering your vehicle, check your surroundings to be aware of any potential hazards. When you are backing out of a parking space, look over your shoulder to maintain awareness of your surroundings. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. For which of the following traffic lights must you always stop your vehicle? A. Solid red lights, flashing red lights, and blacked out traffic signals. B. Solid red lights, red arrows, and flashing yellow lights. C. Solid red lights, flashing red lights, and yellow lights. A. Solid red lights, flashing red lights, and blacked out traffic signals. You must stop at a solid or flashing red light, or at a signal light that is blacked out not working. A solid yellow light means that the signal is about to turn red and you must stop if you can do so safely, otherwise proceed cautiously. A flashing yellow light means that you should proceed with caution, but you do not need to stop. To turn left from a multi-lane one-way street onto a one-way street, you should start your turn from a. Any lane, as long as it is safe. b. The lane closest to the left curb. c. The lane in the center of the road. b. The lane closest to the left curb. When turning left from a one-way street onto another one-way street, you should begin the turn from the far left lane. This yellow signs means a. The road ahead has many curves. b. There is a sharp curve in the road ahead. c. The road ahead may be slippery. c. The road ahead may be slippery. This sign indicates that the road ahead may be slippery when wet. This sign means a. Winding road ahead. B. Do not enter. C. Pedestrian crossing. A. Winding road ahead. This sign warns of a winding road ahead. You must yield to a pedestrian using a white cane or guide dog. A. Only when the guide dog is leading the person across the street. 
b. at all times, c. only if a crossing guard is present, b. at all times. Pedestrians who use guide dogs or white canes, with or without a red tip, must be given the right of way at all times. Roads are slippery after it first starts to rain. When the road is slippery, you should a. avoid making turns and stops while driving at high speeds. b. test your tire's traction while going uphill. c. decrease the distance you look ahead of your vehicle. a. avoid making turns and stops while driving at high speeds. A wet, slippery road does not allow your tires the traction they need, so it is necessary to drive more slowly on a wet road than you would on a dry road. To reduce the risk of skidding, you should avoid fast turns or stops. This road sign means A. Do not enter. B. Roundabout ahead. C. No U-turns. Always use your seat belt. A. Unless the vehicle was built before 1978. B. Unless you are in a limousine. C. When the vehicle is equipped with seat belts. C. When the vehicle is equipped with seat belts. Use of seat belts is required for the driver and all passengers, including children who are over 8 years old or are at least 4 feet 9 inches tall. You must wear seat belts and shoulder harnesses even if the vehicle has airbags. If your vehicle is equipped with separate lap and shoulder belts, you must use both. In rainy weather, you should be most careful when turning or stopping. A. After it has been raining all day. B. One half hour after it stops raining. C. During the first half hour of rain. C. During the first half hour of rain. You should be extra careful when turning and stopping during the first half hour of rain. At this point, the oil from cars has not yet washed off the pavement and could be forming a slippery mixture with the rain. Two sets of solid double yellow lines that are two or more feet apart. A may be crossed to enter or exit a private driveway. B. May not be crossed for any reason. C. Should be treated as a separate traffic lane. B. May not be crossed for any reason. Two sets of solid double yellow lines spaced two or more feet apart are considered a barrier. You may not drive on or over this barrier, or make a left turn or U-turn across it, except at designated openings. If you come to an intersection and your view to the side is blocked, you should a. slow down and look both ways b. maintain your speed and look both ways c. stop, then inch forward until you can see clearly in both directions c. stop, then inch forward until you can see clearly in both directions Drivers must slow down when approaching an intersection if a clear view of cross traffic is obscured, a driver should come to a stop and inch forward until they can see clearly in both directions. To improve visibility lowered by rain or fog, drivers should use their a. low beam headlights b. high beam headlights c. parking lights a. Low beam headlights. Low beam headlights should be used when driving in rainy or foggy weather. Even if they do little to help you see, low beams will make it easier for others to see you. This road sign means A. Sharp right turn ahead. B. A road joins from the right. C. The road ahead turns sharply right then sharply left. C. The road ahead turns sharply right then sharply left. 
Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that the road ahead will turn sharply to the right and then sharply to the left. When passing another vehicle, it is safe to return to your lane if you a. Cannot see the vehicle directly to your right. b. See the vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror. c. Have passed the other vehicle's front bumper. b. See the vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror. Before returning to your original lane after passing, you must make sure you are not dangerously close to the vehicle you have just passed. When you can see both of the vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror, you may have enough room to return to the lane. You are driving on a city street and see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights behind you. What should you do? A. Drive to the right edge of the road and slow down. B. Drive to the right edge of the road and stop. C. Stay in your lane, slow down, and let it pass. B. Drive to the right edge of the road and stop. You must yield the right of way to any emergency vehicle that is using its siren and lights. Drive to the right edge of the road and stop until the emergency vehicle has passed. If you are within an intersection, drive through the intersection first and then stop. It is legal to drive with an alcoholic beverage container that has been opened only if the container is A. Under the front seat. B. In the glove department. C. In the trunk. C. In the trunk. Any opened alcoholic beverage container must be kept in the trunk of the vehicle, or in another place where passengers do not sit. Keeping an opened alcoholic drink in the glove compartment is specifically prohibited. However, in a bus, taxi, camper, or motor home, these restrictions do not apply to non-driving passengers. You should not use your horn? A. When visibility ahead is limited. B. If you might hit another vehicle. C. Near blind pedestrians. C. Near blind pedestrians. When driving near a blind pedestrian, using your horn may be dangerous. Yield to the pedestrian and proceed when it is safe to do so. When driving in work zones, you should A. Follow the driver in front of you closely. B. Pass the driver in front of you as soon as you can. C. Avoid tailgating and keep a safe following distance. C. Avoid tailgating and keep a safe following distance. When driving in a work zone, keep a safe distance between your vehicle and traffic barriers, trucks, construction equipment, workers, and other vehicles. Increase your following distance and do not tailgate. Which of these statements is true about roadwork zones? A. Fines are the same for violations committed in work zones as they are under normal traffic conditions. B. You must, slow for the cone zone. C. Slow down only if you think workers are present. When passing on the left of a vehicle, it is safe to move back into the right lane? A. After about three seconds. B. When you can no longer see the vehicle over your right shoulder. C. When you can see the front of the vehicle in your rearview mirror. C. When you can see the front of the vehicle in your rearview mirror. When passing another vehicle on its left, you may move back into the right lane when the headlights of the past vehicle can be seen in your rearview mirror. Always signal before changing lanes. Before switching on the ignition, you should A. Buckle your safety belt. B. Be sure all passengers have buckled their safety belts. C. Both of the above. C. 
both of the above. Develop a routine for entering and leaving your car. Before switching on the ignition, buckle your safety belt and see that all passengers do likewise. When driving in fog or mist, never put your headlights on the high beam setting because a. The light will reflect back into your eyes. b. Approaching vehicles might not see you. c. Vehicles behind you may follow too closely. a. The light will reflect back into your eyes. In foggy or misty conditions, you should not use your headlights on their high beam setting because the light will be reflected back into your eyes. To turn left from a one-way street onto a one-way street, start from a. The lane closest to the left curb. b. The center lane. c. Any lane, as long as it seems safe to do so. a. The lane closest to the left curb. When turning left from a one-way street onto a one-way street, start the turn from the far left lane. Watch for pedestrians, motorcyclists, and bicyclists between your vehicle and the curb because they may also legally use the left turn lane for their left turns. Turn into any lane that is safely open. If you find yourself in a skid? A. Brake lightly. B. Stay off the brakes. C. Brake abruptly. B. Stay off the brakes. If your vehicle begins to skid, do not use the brakes. Braking could make the skid worse. If you see orange construction signs and cones on a freeway, you must a. Slow down because the lane ends ahead. b. Be prepared for workers and equipment ahead. c. Change lanes and maintain your current speed. B. Be prepared for workers and equipment ahead. As you enter a work zone, signs and message boards will warn you of workers, slow-moving equipment, and or closed lanes ahead. You should reduce your speed and be prepared to slow down or stop. Which of the following roadways freeze first when wet? A. Bridges and overpasses. B intersections c tunnels a bridges and overpasses bridges and overpasses tend to freeze before the rest of the road does you should always travel a at the speed of vehicles surrounding you b at the speed limit c at a speed appropriate for road and weather conditions C. At a speed appropriate for road and weather conditions. The speed at which you should drive your vehicle depends on road conditions, the weather, and the legal speed limit. You may never drive above the legal speed limit. Decrease your speed when anything makes conditions less than ideal. This sign means A. Stop sign ahead. B. Railroad crossing ahead. C. Construction ahead. B. Railroad crossing ahead. A round sign always indicates that you are approaching a railroad crossing. When turning left from a two-way street onto a one-way street, you should A. Turn into any lane. B. Turn into first lane. C. Turn into second lane. B. Turn into first lane. When making any turn, turn from the lane closest to the direction you wish to travel into the first available legal lane. On a turn from a two-way to a one-way street, this means you should turn into the first lane. You exit the freeway on a ramp that curves downhill. You should a. Slow to a safe speed before the curve. b. 
Slow to the posted speed limit for the freeway. C. Wait until you have entered the curve to begin braking. A. Slow to a safe speed before the curve. You should always slow down before entering a curve. You may not be able to see hazards ahead and braking in a curve may cause your vehicle to skid. Which of the following is not a safe driving practice when driving on the interstate? A. Slower traffic must keep to the right. B. Change lanes without signaling. C. If you miss your exit, you must go to the next exit. B. Change lanes without signaling. You should always signal when moving your vehicle to the right or left. On an interstate, you should stay in the right lane if you are moving more slowly than the surrounding traffic. It is illegal to back up or make a U-turn on interstate highways, so if you miss your exit, you should proceed to the next exit. Which of these is a safe driving technique? A. Using your high beam lights in the fog. B. Staring at the road ahead of your vehicle. C. Checking your rear view mirrors frequently. C. Checking your rear view mirrors frequently. To stay aware of hazards, you should scan the road and check your rear view mirrors every 2 to 5 seconds. Constantly staring at just the road ahead of you is dangerous. If you must drive in foggy conditions, you should use your low beam headlights, not your high beam headlights. What can you do to reduce road rage? A. Always signal your intention when changing lanes. B. Talk on your cell phone while driving. C. Use your horn frequently. If you can see that the roadway up ahead is covered by heavy smoke, you should A. Turn on your four-way flashers and continue. B. Reduce your speed, move as far to the right as possible, and stop off the roadway. C. Turn on your high beam headlights and continue. B. Reduce your speed, move as far to the right as possible, and stop off the roadway. If you notice that the road ahead is covered by heavy smoke, reduce your speed immediately, drive as far as possible to the right, and stop off the roadway. Only then should you determine if it is safe for you to continue. Remember that certain kinds of smoke can irritate your eyes and lungs or even kill you. This sign means A. Change in direction or narrowing of roadway. B. No right turn. C. No passing zone. A. Change in direction or narrowing of roadway. This sign warns a driver of a change in direction or a narrowing of the road. A driver may find several of these signs on the outside of a sharp curve or on approaches to a narrow bridge. This sign means A. Watch for bicycles. B. Bicycles not allowed. C. Bicycle repair shop ahead. A. Watch for bicycles. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. Warning signs may alert drivers to areas where animals, people, and vehicles are likely to cross traffic. Alcohol in any concentration is a. A stimulant. b. A depressant. c. Neither of the above. b. A depressant. Alcohol, in any concentration, is a depressant. It slows all nerve impulses and bodily functions, resulting in a lessening of inhibitions and negatively affecting a consumer's ability to concentrate and stay alert. This sign means A. Trucks under 18,000 pounds are allowed. B. Hill ahead. C. Truck stop ahead. B. Hill ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. 
They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign indicates that there is a steep hill ahead. Slow down and be ready to shift to a lower gear to control your speed and protect your brakes from damage. This is the shape and color of a fill in the blank sign. A. Stop. B. Wrong way. C. Yield. C. Yield. Downward facing triangular signs mean drivers must yield. When approaching a yield sign, slow down to a speed that is reasonable for existing conditions and stop if necessary. If you must stop, do so at a marked stop line, if it exists. You are entering a freeway. Check traffic on the freeway by A. Using your rear view and side mirrors. B. Using your rear view mirror. C. Using your side mirror and looking over your shoulder. Which of the following driving skills are affected by the use of alcohol and or drugs? A. Alertness and concentration. B. Reaction time and coordination. C. All of the above. C. All of the above. Any amount of alcohol acts as a depressant, slowing the function of the nervous system. It will reduce a person's alertness and ability to concentrate, increase their reaction time, and drastically reduce their coordination. Changing from one lane to another is best done. A. Quickly and often. B. When a car is in your blind spot. C. Gradually and carefully. C. Gradually and carefully. You should always change lanes gradually and carefully. Only change lanes when necessary. Every lane change increases the possibility of a traffic accident.